are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. And I yell in the transfer portal. Players have been hopping in that mug left and right. Some seeking more playing time. Some seeking more moolah. Trying to get to the money on. And it's crazy out here. But one big signing that we got to talk about, y'all, is that man Kyle McCord. New Jersey native coming back to the upper north, signing with Syracuse. First year head coach Fran Brown getting it done, doing what he does. He recruits. He gets elite talent to come play football at whatever staff he's on. And we're seeing it now, the impact at Syracuse immediately. And he hasn't even coached the game yet. Kyle McCord is a major pickup. I like Kyle McCord, man. Like, I know that people were expecting, I mean, when you were the Ohio State quarterback, if you ain't throwing for over 4,050 tutties, you ain't cutting it. He had the interception against Michigan. Like, it wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? Didn't beat Michigan. Didn't get to the college football playoff. Uh, didn't win the Big Ten. Like, you know, when you're following guys like C.J. Stroud, who also lost to Michigan, just saying, when you're following guys like C.J. Stroud, though, who still, you know, got it done, still made that appearance in the college football playoff for those guys, Justin Fields. Like, when you're following guys like that, man, expectations are going to be crazy. The last three Ohio State quarterbacks have been first-round draft picks. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say McCord can't get to that level. He needs more time. First year starting, though, he completed nearly 66% of his passes. He threw for 3,170 yards and threw 24 touchdowns. Only six interceptions for him. Back in 2018, the staff at Syracuse offered McCord, and now he's coming back around. He's one of the highest-ranked transfers in the nation. He's the 10th-ranked quarterback. From a pure arm talent standpoint, fundamentals, mechanics, Kyle McCord can really flourish at Syracuse, man. And under Coach Brown, I mean, I think he's definitely going to get some more talent around him. But this is big news for Cuse. Coming off a 6-6 six and six season, like, they needed some juice added to this offense, man. They absolutely did. And, of course, they, I, don't, I think they're far from done. I think they're going to continue to pluck from the transfer portal, continue to hit the ground running. You know what I'm saying? So Coach Brown is a Camden, New Jersey native. So being able to get that, that New Jersey talent, that New York talent, keep those guys in the state, Syracuse can build, man, rather quickly. Now you have one of the most important positions on the, the football field, quarterback solved. You got your quarterback for the next couple of years, a guy that's played at the highest level, that won 11 games, bro, threw for over 3,000 yards. Like, you're not going to find too many better quarterbacks in the transfer portal than McCord. I like his game. I think that he has a chance to play on Sundays. But he's got to stay and he's got to develop. And I think he will at Syracuse with less pressure, man. Like, yeah, they still want to win, but it ain't national title or what. Now he gets to restart, get a little closer to home, get back closer to his roots play in front of his family, you know what I'm saying, getting comfortable back at the crib. He can come back with less pressure and just be him and ball out. Now, I know there was a lot of talk about him going to Nebraska. Then I seen the Dylan Rayola situation and how he might be flip-flopping over to, from Georgia to Nebraska. And I, I think now we're seeing that that could have a lot more steam to it. Uh, a lot more momentum, a lot more truth about that situation of Rayola going to Nebraska with McCord. Because it seemed like he was a done deal. He go to Nebraska. He went on the visit, didn't commit. And now, a couple days later, he's locked in with Syracuse. But hell of a job by this staff of Syracuse, man, for just getting it done. They made McCord a priority, went after him, stayed vigilant. And they got their man. They got their quarterback for next year. And I think they'll add some more pieces around him, honestly. I love this fit. They're going to let him air that thing out. But also, all the pressure won't be on him. And it won't, I mean, you know, playing at Ohio State, 
feeling in those footsteps of the guys coming before. That's a ridiculous amount of pressure. He struggled at times, but they only lost one game. No matter what, the, the early season struggles he had trying to get Maserati, Maserati Marv the ball, they were obvious. He was struggling against lesser competition, for sure. But throughout the season, I think he got better every week, and they weren't losing. He was struggling, but they weren't losing games. I felt like even, you know, reading articles, seeing reports from Ohio State's team, his teammates, they felt like he was getting mistreated. Like the the judgment wasn't fair, having all the weight of the loss fall on one player. They felt like he got done dirty. Pretty much felt like he got ran out of Ohio State. You know, and then there's stuff going on Twitter about how McCord might have potentially asked for more NIL money, a bigger package, a bigger bag, and also assurance that he would be the starting quarterback next year. Now that's just something I saw on Twitter. I don't know how true that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not I'm just sharing with y'all what I saw on X. My bad. I keep saying I'm stuck, y'all. I'm stuck on X. Formerly known as Twitter. 